We are back and I have braided Crystal's hair all the way around. This area is not connected to the flexi strands. So I want to get these this hair out of the way. Get this hair out of the way so that we can braid the third braid in. Okay, I am now ready to connect the third braid. So I'm going to, I've already parted the hair. This is the next braid. Again, I am going from the outside to the center. So I'll work on this side first. Here's her hair that we're going to include. So now I am going to fold the unit down, which conceals all the braids that we've completed before. And it exposes the next row of braiding hair, which is here. I am now ready to complete this braid. Starting with the flexi strand, I am now going to connect it by French braiding it in with her own natural hair. I'm not putting any tension on her own natural hair. I'm braiding it just like you would braid a kid's hair. Now I'm ready to go to the second side and do the same thing. I have the hair, the, the, the um, flexi strand hair, and here's her own natural hair. And I'm just going to comb and braid them together. I'm going to comb it together to blend and then braid. Starting with the flexi strand here. Her hair in the center. And I'm creating a braid. Braiding to the center and stopping. And we braid to the center because it eliminates bulk and it makes the hair lay nice and flat along the hairline where most people want to be able to pull it back into a ponytail or lay it flat into a French roll or an updo. Okay. I have finished the two braids coming from either side. Here, this one starting from the left and going to the center. And the same thing was done on the other side. Okay, I am now ready to again braid the hair that is actually here in the center and the last braid will be across the nape. So we'll come back when I'm ready to braid the final braid in. Okay, we have now braided down the section of Crystal's hair that will not be included in the last braid. So everything is braided down flat now, so it will lay flat up under the hair extension. She has decided to leave just a little bit out so that she can pull it up and wear an updo. So now we're going to part the hair for the very last braid. And all of these are design options. You can leave a little bit of hair out. You can put all the hair in. It doesn't matter. It's all your choice. Okay. So I'm separating the hair now for the, for the last flexi strand braid, and this will be left exposed. Okay. 
here we are. Here's her hair for the last braid. And now I'm going to pull the unit down and it just rolls down kind of like you roll down a sock. And it just meets that hair. And now I'm ready to connect her hair with the final braid. So comb the two together to blend again. And I'm always going to be braiding from the outside. Toward the center. So I'm going to part it in the center. Separate the hair on the other side with a little clip. Okay, so that's out of my way. And now I'm ready to braid this side. So combing her hair and the flexi strain together. And as you can see, all the other braids are neatly concealed. I'm to the center now, and I'm going to complete the braid, just braid it all the way to the end. And then I'll do the same thing on the other side. Here we go. Goes from the side all the way. And this is, we're down to the nape of the neck, so we're just about finished with this unit. Okay, we're going to turn her around. <laughs> And do exactly the same thing on the opposite side. Okay. Her hair and the hair from the unit. Just going to comb it together to blend. And we're going to braid it from the outside hairline to the center. This is not a painful process at all. The braids are secure, but they're not painful. As you can see, this braid goes in pretty quickly. We're, up, we're finished with it already. And now we're just going to braid it down to the end. So the unit is completely attached at this point. And these will be just tucked under the unit so that they're nice and flat. Okay, we'll come back in a minute and we'll show you the finished product. Okay, we have now folded the unit down for Crystal in the back. So it is completely attached now. You can see how um, close it is to her scalp. Okay, the unit really fits right next to her hair. It is very secure. It cannot be pulled off. So now I'm just going to actually take down the hair that we had reserved in the front and comb it over to finish her look. I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, we have the final unveiling. Crystal's hair is finished. And you can see how nice and natural it looks. Let's take a look a little bit closer. Very natural. Let's come on out. Okay. Absolutely beautiful. And that is the new FlexiStream product.
Thank you.